Hi guys, just a little update for myself. I thought we'd do a little video just to let you see what I've been up to over the past few weeks. And I think in the previous video I shown these guys just in the uh, early stages, been primed up. And I think I had just had the base colours for the, the blue jackets and that one. And uh, so yeah, a few weeks it's taken me to get these guys finished and very pleased I am with them. Uh, it's Perry Miniatures, metal figures, representing one of the Western units of the, the Union Army in the American Civil War. I, I've gave these guys the flags of the 1st Minnesota, and uh, the flags are from GMB Designs. Very nice indeed they are. Uh, yeah, I'll just try and zoom in a little bit guys, i just like to see the different figures in the packs. There's three different packs of figures in total. Uh, I'm not sure how the light is at this end of the, the desk, but we'll, we'll have a go anyway. Uh, yeah, so there was uh, one command pack, one pack of guys in the capies, and two of the guys in the slouch hat. So it was four different packs made up the unit of 24 figures. Uh, there's a couple of NCO figures. We'll just turn, take this guy up slightly. You might, I'm not sure how he's going to look in the light, but I'll just pull it out maybe slightly. Zoom in again. Uh, yeah, you see the stripes in his arms, so he's one of the NCO figures. Very nice he is. Nice sculpt indeed. Enjoy doing these guys. Uh, put that back in there. Yeah, <coughs> excuse me, I'll zoom in a little bit. Yeah, the light's a bit better here, as you can see, guys. Uh, yeah, I've got the drummer in the front rank there as well. And then the next stand here, I'll just pull these out a little bit. You've got the officer, the two standard bearers. Uh, what I've done actually, I didn't actually use the, the poles that came with the figures because they're actually quite soft, metal, bendy. Uh, but I've had a pack of these, uh, what they call pikes you get from Perry Miniatures, which are solid wire. So I've used them and you can see the, the Stars and Strikes one. It's got the, the brass eagle on top. So that's actually off of the original pole, I've just cut it off, bored a little hole in the bottom of it, and then glued it onto the solid wire pole. And just, uh, yeah, they're a bit more substantial. They don't bend around. So, a little tip for anybody who wants to change over the flat poles. They're very good in the solid wire one. Uh, yeah, and this one here is another, I'll just turn this guy around. You can see the stripes on him as well. That's another NCO figure in the command pack. Very nice. I, I I do like some of the loading figures as well. The poses are really nice indeed. Uh, so yeah, as I say, I'll pull it out again, guys. I've really enjoyed painting these guys back to metal figures again after so many plastics. Uh, although I do really like the plastic miniatures, I think there's something about painting metals. It's just, uh, yeah, a lot more enjoyable. I think the details are a lot crisper as well. So yeah, really enjoying that. And the other thing that I've been up to lately uh, is I've just been rebasing some figures. In fact, if I push that back, I'll just let you see. I've been rebasing my Napoleonic British 95th Rifles. They were all on single penny bases before. So I've got them mounted at bases of three, so I'm just doing them at the moment. Another one here, as you can see. So yeah, just a uh, bit of rebasing. The other ones are, are another three bases that have been painted. I'm just ready to flock. And the other thing was, I'll just move that nice to the side. Uh, I had another one last, I was using these bases, sorry, just to let you see, uh, with the penny slots in them. So they would just fit in nicely rather than rebase them totally. So when I based them up, I realised that I was a figure short <laughs> to make up that other base. So. I did have a spare plastic rifle brigade figure. Just bring him over here, guys. As you can see here, and I've just just started painting him up now. So he'll he'll uh, yeah. Once he's painted up, he'll get slotted into that that other base, and that'll just fill that one up as well. Uh, the other things I'm still working on. In fact, if I turn the camera around. We we'll get some light over there. Uh, yeah, I've still got some things on the bait on the workbench here, as you can see. That's a chart you saw. 
Got these Victrix and Warlord games, British officers there. Just going through the pace over there. I'm sort of doing them in between doing the other figures. And this is the other uh, 95th rifle figures that I'll be doing base in here. As you can see, so the bases are painted, just ready for the flocking. And uh, yeah, that's about it guys. I'll just pull it back up here. I'll let you see, finish off, I'll just move these guys. Finish off with the American Civil War unit. So yeah, I'm, I'm still not deciding what unit of figures I'm going to do next. As I say, I'm painting that British Napoleonic command figures up in between other things. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do a Confederate regiment. I do have some plastic figures. With some metal command figures, which uh, Lee Hughes sent me as a as a gift uh, not too long ago, I'm gonna use them. So I I may do them, or I may do another Napoleonic unit before I do the Confederate. So yeah, <laughs> decision times. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll keep you updated when I decide what I'm doing, guys. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll be watching all your videos, enjoying them all. Not commenting them all, uh, just due to time, but I'm enjoying what I'm seeing, so keep up the good work, guys, and uh, I'll catch you again soon. Thanks, now. Bye-bye.